I brought in Coheed and Cambria. <laughs> Unbelievable That's video. Good. The track is You Got Spirit Kid. They're from Nyack, New York. This was released October 16th, 2015. The label is 300. Now, just to be clear uh, for people that don't follow Coheed super closely, this was off an album called The Color Before the Sun. Yep. And it was their first non-concept album. Yes. So it wasn't following the Armory Wars because, you know, Claudio does this whole thing with his comic books. It was kind of its own standalone thing. I think a lot of it had to do with his kid and stuff like that. And he wanted to write some of these songs. It was a contentious album from the standpoint of, like, the dedicated Coheed fans. From, like, that cult following, yes. There was some contention on this album because... A lot of these comic book nerd geeks were just so vested in the Armory Wars they narrative. They weren't having this, yeah. They didn't want anything but that. Mm -mm. Now, I consider myself a pretty vested Coheed fan. You? Are you Tepid. adjacent? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would say by association. and I mean, everything I've listened to by them I love, but I'm not a fan right. by you're any not, means. You're not fully engaged. No, not and by any means. So, it, it, and so I maybe I'm... Like, I know I'm fully engaged, but I might be at a different level than some of these fans because I love this album. Yeah, you're like, I didn't, I didn't even like question it or be like, I knew it was different. Did it take time for you to get into it or right away? Was it, it was like automatic immediate. Love? It was immediate. That's interesting. So, first Google image search. I mean, it's all about Claudio Sanchez's hair, right? That's unbelievable. That <laughs> it's like Troy Palomalu circa like, 2011, head and, and shoulders. And, dude, he never veers from it. Like, he puts it back sometimes. It's always and he there, does though. some stuff with it, but he never veers away from it. And just to confirm, that is not the bass player that got arrested for stealing oxycodone no, from the pharmacy. Not that guy. Not that guy. That guy was already gone. Long gone. So I'm going to say this picture was probably right around when this album came out. So how long has it been since you've seen this video? Oh, dude. <laughs> probably probably two years, I think is safe, really? safe to say. Yeah. So you have a little bit of a high-level memory of how it goes and what happens. Oh, absolutely. I am so excited for this, dude. I hope everything works and we don't have any YouTube problems. Here we go. Rad times. <laughs> High school locker room. We've all been there. Classic setting. <laughs> Nakey in the shower. And that is the bass player, I think, in the shower. So they do act in this. The band is present yeah. in the video. <laughs> and I mean, the dude looks like he's 38 years old. We've all been there. There's a little... Well, that's what his ass looks like. <laughs> Oh my god. Just a genius concept for it's, a video. I don't want to get ahead of myself. We'll, we're going to discuss it afterwards, but I 100% agree. Yeah. You keep on screaming from the top of Claudio working on that motor fucking gearhead. Look at him. Oh. I fucking love it. <laughs> Did your high school have like a shop like that? Exactly really? like that, dude. Gearheads. Yep. There's a drama. So they're basically getting. <laughs> they're revolting <laughs> against the bullies. They're getting a posse together. Oh, oh they got the bag of weed. Oh, that outfit on the is far right is unbelievable. Un look at the shorts, dude. Like, I can tell what religion he yeah. is by those shorts. Yeah, he's cut. He is fully cut. All right, so he's mixing the weed into the oregano. Something. In, I think, like the whole mech thing yes. or something. Making the brownies. Pop brownies. Amazing. Good. <laughs> Stumble. Let me just oh, try so my <laughs> Gotta taste your creations. And I think it's important to note that, like, sound-wise, this doesn't sound any different from their other album. Not at all. It's just not the concept. No. It sounds like Cody. It, yeah, 120 And I love how everybody else in the video was, like, 18 except for them. It's like a 20-year age gap. 30s. They didn't even try. 
It's like an episode of Glee where it's like <laughs> you're Glee twenty. Shell is yeah, thirty nine exactly. playing the sixty year old. I love that the lacrosse game is good. I've always do. It's so on. Um, That's what stuff and I used to always love about it. Yeah, it's like the, It's always going to be the lacrosse game. Oh boy. <laughs> Team. Put your hands together. <laughs> Holy Cross High School, boys. Cross. <laughs> Banned from the locker room. Hey, get the him off the court. So they lock the cross players in the locker room. Oh my god. All the cheerleaders are stoned off their fucking heads. I mean, the song is so, so catchy, catchy, dude. And they cut to the live thing they're playing in the auditorium. I love that. Oh, I mixed the guys up. There. Wow, I got that wrong. Is that the oxy bass player? No, no. Oh, right. But the guy I said was the drummer was the bass player. Oh, okay. <laughs> the guy. That's the drummer. <laughs> Unbelievable, dude. Fucking hair. Dude, it's just, it's undefeated, dude. Like, I would wear that, I think, if I could. If I could. And I will say, it's not often that Claudio looks right into the camera during a video. But when he does it, he does it like, yep, he fucking means it, bro. That was so, good. so oh, we're going to skip the long uh, drawn out thing. That was incredible, I thought. It's always so refreshing to watch it again. It's, it's just like, <laughs> it's like every time feels like the first time. And I was talking to Rev about like we're we're I'm, like I think we're collectively starting to notice things about like videos and songs especially as they're paired together. Yep. And like, you know, how they approach the video and how it complements or whatever to the song. That, like for me, that's perfect, dude. That's a perfect. That's execution. as good as it gets, as far as storyline, lyrics, tying it into something everybody can relate to. They they fucking murdered it. They genius fucking, idea, absolutely genius idea. And regardless of whether or not that's what Claudio had in mind when he wrote the song, that's what I see when I hear the Every song. Every single now. time, that's what it means to me. I fucking love Coheed. They're a fucking great band. If you haven't seen them live, go check them out. Always good live. What does Rev like to say, Chewy? What does Rev like to say? Smash like and subscribe. Oh, smash like and subscribe. I don't I don't get down with that. 